This is apparently some drama with RuneScape. I don't really know what happened, but somebody suggested I watch this video. I'm kind of curious what's happening. It's juicy. Thank God. Here we go. No hate to Jagex staff. Majority of them have been very respectful towards me, but this video is to highlight the corruption of Mod Trident and how easily he is getting away with everything. All right, let's get to it. So this is the reason on why they banned me. I'm going to read it out loud from one of the community managers. I don't want to say his name because I don't want a lot of hatred to go towards him. Okay. Hey, Oda, I just wanted to reach out to you and let you know ahead of time, as I know last week has been a bit of a difficult one, but I'm having to be the bad barrier of news once more. The anti-cheating team reached out to us earlier today following some of their routine checks and informed us that permanent bans have been applied to two of your accounts, Bold and Omar. The reason behind the bans is due significant hours of paid account services on both accounts. The team have been extremely diligent in their investigation as they wanted to be sure that the information was correct. And after reviewing over 100 other accounts being banned for the same reason, they have confirmed the evidence is indisputable. Okay. Any questions, please do reach out, but we won't be able to lift the bans or transfer names from either of the accounts. All right, don't worry, you won't have to because you're going to be unbanning it. Completely false, right? I've never been serviced on Omar's account once. I've never got anybody to go on my account and do any type of service ever. So both of the accounts, Bold and Omar, is what they ban. Bold, I'm not going to lie. That one was at a series that I've done on YouTube and a few strength levels was serviced from like 90 to 94 or something. But it wasn't 400 hours to do a permanently ban. They, they're they saying that a, oh equivalent of 400 hours and uh, it's a permanently ban. No, if anything, it should get a temp ban for that account. And Omar has never been serviced on. I, I gave them all the evidence that they need. I told them who uses the account, me and my two boys. They even go on it till this day. I will be honest, whenever I see this kind of stuff, I come into it, you know what I always say? Whenever somebody tells me something, I assume they're lying. This seems very odd to me that this guy paid for account sharing services on one account but somehow it was never on this other account. I, 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 I don't know. Like, he already admitted to one of them. So we're already, we're already starting off in a gray area. This is not some sort of fucking, you know, somebody paid him to just ban a completely fucking innocent person. So, I've done a lot of ban appeals. Well, I was just banned for spreading my opinion. Well, what's your opinion? That the Jews do everything that's bad? Oh, okay, I can see why you got banned. Yeah. So, whenever I see, and like it was that guy earlier today, where he's like, Oh, I thought we were supposed to have opinions in here. But then I say something and I get timed out. What the fuck is going on? And I look at his fucking logs and he's just typed the same fucking thing 30 times into like a massive block of text. The mods timed him out. Then as soon as his timeout ran out, he typed it again. And then he got timed out again. And he's like, I can't believe this censorship. You just can't have other opinions in here, huh? Eh? Holy fuck, man. So yeah, I'm coming into this with a very skeptical outlook, okay, on Autoblock. He already admitted to account sharing for one fucking account. Do you want me to fucking believe him that he didn't account share in the second one? I do. Well, I'm not going to just believe that. That's not the point. All right. All right. But that that's where I'm starting off at. They do tomes of a pasket. Account services. And they go PKing on it. He said he got account services. Like, he literally said that. He said that a minute ago in the video. Even sometimes when I try to log in on stream, they're on just PKing or doing whatever. What I'm trying to get at here is my main point is Omar has never been serviced on and Bold does not deserve a perm ban. Also, let me specify this. Deserve. This is another, this is a value judgment on him. 
In my opinion, I think that if I, I think a permanent ban, like I kind of agree with him in a way, like I, I do it. It's like a permanent ban. But get buying account sharing services, I feel like in terms of like, you know, you have a little pyramid of like bad things to do in the game. Buying uh, buying account services is really close to the top, especially in a, in a, in a game like RuneScape, right? This is a no life game. So if you're buying things to no life the game, you're that's the whole like you're just you're you're turning the whole system upside down. Just well, account sharing has never been a problem beforehand. So uh, they they what? So nobody's ever been banned for account sharing before. This is true? Oh, excuse me. Oh, so wait wait a second. Wait a second here. Listen to what he says. The point is, Omar has never been serviced on, and Bull does not deserve a perm ban. Also, let me specify this as well. Account sharing has never been a problem beforehand. So, But you literally said that you weren't doing account sharing. You said you were getting account serviced for levels from like 90 to 92. He explicitly stated... Even this is we're two minutes into the video. He's already like. All, all right, finish the video. No, he did not. He fucking did. Do you want me to go back? He literally said he. All right, I'll go back. Any questions, please do reach out because you're going to be unbanning it. Completely false. Right. I've never been serviced on Omar's account once. I've never got any. See Omar's account. He didn't say I've never been serviced once. He said Omar's account. Anybody to go on my account and do any type of service ever. So both of the accounts, Bold and Omar, is what they ban. Bold, I'm not going to lie. That one was at a series that I've done on YouTube, and a few strength levels was serviced from like... He fucking said it. He just fucking said it. Are you kidding me? Omar is the name of the account. Holy fuck. Well, account sharing has never been a problem beforehand. So uh, they, they can't make that argument. It's never been bannable. A lot of other streamers, a lot of yep. other people do it all the time. Sure. So uh, if they try to cover this up somehow by saying account sharing, it's not a thing. Regarding account sharing, when you're not necessarily selling a cape, but maybe you want to let a friend on your account to use it and uh, get the cape for you or anything, and you're not necessarily charging for it. Um, while account sharing is against the rules, we will not actively take action against players casually sharing accounts for the purposes of community or social activities um, where there is deemed to be no risk to the game integrity. And all parties involved have a mutual acceptance of the account being used in that way. I hit up Trident on uh, Discord DMs, on the OSR's content creator Discord, said, hey team, uh, I'm going to be collecting bulk amounts of GP on Omar to pay for the ranks in my deathmatching CC. This way I could co co cover potential scams and giveaways for the CC. Please confirm I'm allowed to do this. If not, I will refund everyone who bought a rank in my CC. I'm pretty sure this is what Stella does and there hasn't been any problems. Thank you for your time. And I added Trident. He goes and replies and goes, no issues with that on our end. Thanks for the heads up. Now that I have 30 bill on my account and I've collected ranks and, you know, I've been making my bank bigger on RuneScape, they want to ban me now, right? It's obvious what they're doing. It's obviously uh, targeting me. And uh, I've... I well, how's that obvious? How, how do we know this is obvious? Wait, what? When did... Well, how do we know this is... O Keep watching? Okay. All right. All right. Let's let's listen. Let's listen. I've honestly opened this CC for you guys. I've been asked a lot from my community. Hey, what a block open a legit CC. Hey, what a block open a trusted CC because we know uh, the scammer Stella has been scamming for years over 100 bill plus debt and haven't paid back literally a dime. So it, it blows my mind that this is being blown out of proportion and I'm being targeted by Trident and Stella to the point they're saying they're finding evidence of me account servicing. So, wait, so who's, how, how does he, so now there's Stella as well?
Uh, there's more context to it. All right, we're gonna keep watching. Let, let's. All right, we're gonna listen to everything. I'm gonna tell you so far. I think this guy's full of shit. I'm not gonna say hopefully I'm proven wrong or not, but so far it sounds like he's full of shit. Two years ago, and then saying, "Oh, it's a uh, a routinely checkup, uh, a a routine checkup," and that's why we banded you from two years ago. Like the, the information is just not right, right? How can you say that this inf the you account serviced a couple of years ago, but you did a routine checkup, so you're banning me now? It makes they never said that they banned him. Why that that they never said that? Unless there was another type of correspondence, and the correspondence that they showed, they never gave him an example of where he actually account shared they did where is it is it at the beginning of the video later in a video okay it's no sense right let me elaborate on the targeting of the bands right i i feel like this is a confusing part yes. and people are wondering why it's targeting right um, so the reason why it's targeting is because now I'm competition to Stella CC, right? And there's, uh, you know, we, we have evidence that Stella and Trident are... Are you still dating a... W okay. Jmon, Trident? Yeah. And, uh, in cahoots with one another. And I'm still here. I'll just confirm the rumors. Trident and I are indeed a thing. I was going to do it live, but YOLO, okay. And the reason why I'm being so serious because... DMing it, sus, sus, Stella trading back and forth she's not banned me either dming is not bannable i'm literally dating mod trident i think i would know if dming was bannable okay this does seem sus i think this i think Ada is sus i think this is also sus this is unfair you know i have people around me on my circle that are getting banned I, mother mother rucker i have a friend i don't want to name names here but he even got banned on his hardcore for rwt uh, and a lot of other friends that are being targeted just because what, what does rwt stand for is this some sort of uh real world okay all right yeah okay R rmt rwt okay yeah each game has i've kind of figured but i wasn't sure around me and they're being banned and such and I do believe it's Stella telling Trident, okay? And he's just fine. So, so, I, I mean, this is, this is definitely a stretch, right? To say that because he's competing with another player of the video game, that that player is now telling the mod to ban him. He has proof? Let's, let's get it. Let's see the proof. Can I please say that the structure of this video is fucking awful, where you start with the accusations and then you provide the proof? The structure of this is fucking horrible. Banning random stuff to dig upon and then banning the people close to me and also myself. My friend was also banned at the exact moment that they DM me about my band. And they've all been banned okay. around the same time as me. That's very weird. Extremely weird. I, I think that... I, I feel like that's probably that is like just knowing how a company or a group of people would do things it seems like that would make sense that they were probably hit in the same wave i i think it, it is I, I think a reasonable person could assume that these were done simultaneously and i think you guys could confirm it's obviously targeted it's obviously because i'm competition against stella and her cc is dying so she's just trying to get me out or trying to destroy the cc and that's fine but you just yeah, I mean, like somebody says in chat, I want to address this. This is hilarious. Asman says something, watches two minutes and walks it back. You're absolutely right. Uh, the reason why is that I am not a bot. I will watch something and then form an opinion on it. And then if in what is CC? I'm assuming it's credit card, right? It's probably some sort of uh, like it, it, what is this? Clan chat. Okay. So how, what is clan group chat? What, why would that happen? It's okay to change your opinion on something to present with evidence. Yeah, 
Like I, I'm saying, like as soon as I hear something, this is what my opinion is. This is my first uh, first impression. Yeah, like if if I I don't have a problem being I don't like being wrong, but I would rather be right than like double down on being wrong. So yeah, of course this is my impression of it. But if I'm presented with more evidence that makes me realize, oh, that wasn't true. Well, then I don't view that as a loss. I view that as a win because now I know more. That That's how a normal person thinks. So anyway, um, what is this clan chat? And why does this clan chat require gold? Oh, it's dueling for gold. Okay, okay, got it. So he holds the money for the wagers. So he is stake.com. How accurate am I in saying that? Hundred percent. Okay. Got it. All right. And so do they take a cut of the money that they hold for wagers? she does okay all right just not gonna get away with it right I, i'm pretty sure they thought we were gonna just brush this under the rug and be like let's make a new account no because if i didn't do anything wrong i'm gonna stand for what i believe in and i'm gonna sit there i'm like your boys they're schooling with us you know i find me and my community very close very solid i love my community my community loves me i'm not just gonna let this brush by there has been times in the past where i've rwt'd i've I, on multiple accounts and i've gotten banned on every single one and, you know, my brother would come in. Yo. This is why I don't trust this guy, man. This is why I don't fucking trust him. Like, if he's already admitting to, like, multiple TOS violations, like, are, are you, do you really want me to take a leap of faith with you and say that, oh, not with this account, though? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? It's a repeat offender on multiple accounts. He's being honest, though. How do you know he's being honest? Whenever fundamentally he's being honest about lying and breaking the rules. Think about that. This is a person who has no problem breaking the rules and cheating, but this time he's telling the truth. Uh-huh. Let's see the rest of the video. You rucked up. Don't even say anything. Move on. You know, just tell the boys you are the beauty and you got banned. Some of you guys would laugh it off. Some of you guys would be like, damn, oh, come on now. But what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to accept this one because okay. I've never serviced on my account. I've never did any sort of account servicing on my account. On right. I've never been serviced on Omar's account once. But both of the accounts, Bold and Omar, is what they ban. Bold, I'm not going to lie. That one was at a series that I've done on YouTube and a few strength levels was serviced from like, like damn, oh, come on now. But what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to accept this one because I've never serviced on my account. I've never did any. On Omar, it's a different account. So <laughs> let me get this straight. You want me to believe that he's RMT'd on all of these other accounts. He's serviced on other accounts. But this one is different. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. It's a, It could be a case where he's wrong and she's wrong. And there is the possibility that he is telling the truth. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on this, but it is possible. But God damn, it doesn't seem like it sort of account servicing on my account on Omar and 
it's just it blows my mind that they're making stuff up in order to ban me for my plus 30 bill plus but they just <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right. Bank and try to destroy the competition because I opened the CC with death matching. Just not gonna happen. And what blows my mind as well is remember that hardcore I made a series on the Survivor account? Okay. I've admittedly openly to all the servicing I did to that account. But what I'm trying to say is I'm not gonna accept this one because I've never serviced on my account. I've never. My mind as well is remember that hardcore I made a series on the Survivor account. I've admittedly openly to all the servicing I did to that account. All the people that went on her, Carlitos, it's a Juan, account. Valeria. I There's so there are a lot of accounts this guy gets servicing on. Somehow, it seems like he's getting servicing on like every other account. It's just, it's, what a coincidence that, like, every single other one, man. You're misunderstanding. He serviced many random accounts for series on YouTube, but not his main account. I see. I mean, can we have a conversation about the idea of like a person who repeatedly breaks the terms of service that is well established to be a terms of service breaker? How are they not in the right to ban all of his accounts? Because they're all owned by him. Like, w what are we talking about here? Like, who gives a fuck of like, oh, you didn't get serviced on this specific account? Bro, you've been cheating, breaking the rules for years, it seems. Multiple accounts, multiple, multiple, multiple accounts. F fuck that. That's ridiculous. Like, if I was them, I would have banned him. W what are we talking about? This is insane. It's not against TOS? D the TOS is not, this is not the 10 commits. It's, it's a terms of service written by a bunch of fucking nerds. This isn't the 10 commandments. I know them, okay? I know them. And I've admitted and to all the servicing the of that account, and to this day, Another that account is still not banned. But now you find somehow account servicing from two years ago on Omar. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. You do not understand the accounts he's got service were specifically for a YouTube series. So what do you think would... Oh, man, I'm a... Oh, man, I got scissors. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm fucking pissed. So you got to listen to me. All right. So fucking. All right. Remember whenever Jarvis did this exact same fucking shit on Fortnite. He did this literally exact same fucking shit where he went and he downloaded a cheat in the game. And he said, oh, wow, look at me. And then Fortnite fucking banned him. And everybody was on Fortnite's side with this, basically. They feel bad for the kid. Yeah, maybe they should unban him now. It's been a long time. But fuck, I think they were right. Because whenever you, okay, so you are making a YouTube series, advertising, cheating. Like if I made a series advertising how to bot in World of Warcraft, and I make, I'm like, oh, I didn't do it on my main account. If I was Blizzard, I'd ban my main account. Are you kidding me? It's not even a question. It's just, I'm wearing different masks, so I'm a different person. Yes, it's, it, it, what the fuck are we talking about? Are, and you're claiming that Pick I have account cards. serviced, and you're gonna just give me a perm band immediately, and perm band all my accounts that is connected to my IP. That's insane. Now let's so uh, wait wait a second. So if you're perma banning all accounts that were connected to your IP, that means that it was not a perma ban that had to do with the actions that were specifically on the account. It was a categorical perma ban on you as an individual, which completely disproves the entire idea that the Omar account is or is not engaging in TOS breaking violations if it was a global IP ban. This holy shit. How did people get behind this? This is so fucking stupid. Irrelevant?
Wait, no, it's not. That's what he literally said. He misspeaks here. Oh, he misspoke. Okay, all right, good. Well, fucking... Oh, t shit. Okay, well, now I have to fucking filter that out. So every time that... Wait, so every time that he self-reports, he misspeaks? How convenient. Let's talk about the puppeteer, Stella. Stella's a RuneScape streamer that built her... How do I say this? Her following from being a staker in game. There has been several instances of Stella being exposed for scamming other players for thousands of dollars worth of GP, as well as- Where are the instances? Is this true? It's been proven. We might have to look into this. There's dozens of instances of her rigging giveaways for her own benefit. To this day, she allegedly has over $50,000 worth of debt to other players. On top of the money she has allegedly scammed from others as well. To get in the position that she is today, Stella would advertise her no armor pictures, her NSFW pictures, in her Twitch chat with an on-screen overlay. She would use these pictures and videos to entice men into her Discord channels to pay her GP. This- That's- Okay. Wow. Well, no other girl on Twitch does that. I, I mean, this is not against the rules. Like, remember we had that one RuneScape streamer. Remember her? Should she get banned now? I don't think so. Smile here. Yeah, he's just mocking her. Don't take it seriously. All right, all right, fine. point would have no relevance however i believe this has played a big part in the corruption of a jagex employee called mod trident okay after amassing a decent following stella would be hit multiple times wait, wait, by the anti-mod trident after figured if trident took out the majority of the serial rule breakers it would cool off but they return with a vengeance i will tell you right now this is completely separate from this guy at all um this seems very like, if I was Jagex, I would go to Trident, and I would say, listen, you can be with this girl, but you can't be with the company. This is putting you in a very, this is putting us, it's putting them in a very compromised and bad position. Yeah, th this is, th like, she should not be talking for him. She shouldn't be doing any of this. This is incredibly, like, like this, this is, I would say, unprofessional. Like, I don't know, what unorthodox, uh, bad, fuck, I, I'm not sure. A HR, yeah, she's using him. I don't know if she's using him or not. But, like, what I'm saying is that it comes off really bad. It's a conflict of interest. Yes, it's a massive conflict of interest. Especially whenever she's speaking for him. Figured if he took out this, this is just, this is, this is so wrong. He's actually completely right about this. This is massively unethical. And the truth is that if everybody is operating above the board, this is not an issue. But the problem is that any time that something like this happens and you call this into question, it is immediately a problem. After amassing a decent following, Stella would be hit multiple times by the anti-cheat team. same odd you got on your payroll for offenses of real world trading which means she sold in game gold for real life cash she this is th that's so bad bro like this is so fucking bad he's banned got him this is so bad oh my god like this is looks awful yeah bro like that this guy in my opinion like bro he's got to go Like this, like, and the thing is, like, yeah, Jagex and Jag I mean, this is this is so bad. It gets worse. All right, we'll watch it. She eventually got sick of these bands, so had to think of other ways to harbor GP instead. This birthed the creation of her Discord channel that organized death matches in RuneScape. She would charge people hundreds of dollars worth of GP to join this Discord and get a rank, which aimed to prove trustability among players. And this is where her puppet comes in, the puppet. 
Mod Trident. Mod Trident is a Jagex employee who is essentially Stella's doggy. He will ban players at Stella's command. This isn't the place for it. Sorry. Cost of living very different across different countries. Countries are Jagex is based in Cambridge, not London. Although Jagex doesn't really underpay. I'm no, sorry. I would not recommend or advise it. The concept of holding uh, collateral is not against the rules. Nothing here is sus. I don't think anything here is bad. As and when she decides. Yeah, but like, I, I think he's building a foundation for the fact that he's in her Discord and communicating. However, the, the one thing that he is saying here, however, is he is building a foundation that he is not only in her Discord, but he is in her Discord as a representative of the company. Like, he is speaking as an employee of the company. So he is, yeah, I, I think this is, I, I think this is true, but nothing in those statements is bad in itself. Celeste came out publicly and stated that herself and Trident are dating, so you could understand why there may be some corruption in Trident's decisions. Wait, oh, that herself up. and Trident okay. are dating, so you could understand why there may be... Might be pre... Might have pre-banned every JMod long ago. What's your Discord name so I can look into it? I... I... I don't know what this is. Some corruption in Trina's decisions when it comes to banning. If you so even win a death match against Stella, let's say you go on a streak and you win a couple of bills off Stella, she will command Trida to ban that player afterwards as well. See, that happened too many times. Trida also stated that every CC and whoever is a death matching CC has to follow certain rules. There will be no such bots. For example, kick bots. Unfortunately, or should I say fortunately for Stella, the CC has been recorded to have such bots. Therefore, by the terms of service made by Mod Trident, it cannot exist. But obviously, this was swept under the rug. I knew this was going to happen, right? I knew that me... Message sent from Mod Trident. I mean, again... Like, it, it says it's sent from Mod Trident. Well, why doesn't show his name at the top? Why wouldn't you show his name? Real life name? No, it's because he's... No, that's not true. No, think about it. This is Twitter. This is a Twitter DM. Uh, look at this here. This is the exact same text, and it says Mod Trident at the top. He provided it at the top, and it's not here. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Hopefully it's just a mistake. Any single... Bro. All right. All right. Let's keep going. You can still fake a name though. True. True. And, and that's true. Absolutely. Me making a CC, I would cause trouble with my trident because he had the correlation with Stella. I didn't think I would be permanently banned on all my accounts for random uh, assumptions and allegedly me doing this or that. I didn't know he would go that far and he's that much of Stella's doggy, but unfortunately I was wrong. I don't know if maybe Ma Trida and Stella are selling gold on the low. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why Trida is backing Stella so much when she's a known scammer and has been- What do you mean you don't know why? It's because she's fucking him. What do you think? That's obviously why. Why are we beating around the bush? He is. Scamming for years. And everybody in the Twitch section knows how much of a scammer she is. There's been hundreds of videos made about her and her scams. There's been a lot of content creators that have been talking about this as well. Even some even made videos about it. I know uh, Kemp Q, Pure Spam, and a few other people that have been talking about uh, this corruption. And it seems that it's just been all brushed under the rug. If been promoted to senior anti-cheating specialist. Thanks to everyone who made my job interesting. 84 comments and 238 uh, likes. Looks like this person is not very, uh, very well liked. 
if anything, he got promoted to like senior anti-cheating robot. I don't even know what the hell you want to call it, but you Read got the date. I've been talking about. What about the date? I mean, I don't know what the date is. This, is uh, this corruption. And it seems that it's just been all brushed under the rug. If anything, he got promoted to like senior and. Oh, it was an April Fool's. Uh I mean, I. It wasn't. He did get promoted, though. Yeah, it feels like this isn't something that you joke around with. Like, I, I don't know. It wasn't. He just posted it on April 1st. Okay. Anti cheating robot. I don't even know what the hell you want to call it, but you know what I mean. Another rule that Mod Trident stated in the deathmatching CCs if anybody sells gold, they're obviously going to be banned. Sela has been known for selling gold for years. That's the only reason why she plays RuneScape. She doesn't play RuneScape because she enjoys it, or she makes content on it, or she likes to fletch logs, or even do her blur. Okay? She literally plays this game solely for IRL money. It's so obvious. She deathmatches 24-7, buys and sells gold on the fly. And the reason why she's protected and she has that shield is because of Trident. Stella has banned... I think that, uh, again, I want to see the screenshots. I want to see the evidence. Let's see the evidence. Let's see the screenshots. We'll get into this. This is fine. This is stupid enough to be worthy of my full attention. Absolutely. Next video has proof. Thank God. We're going we're gonna to get we're going to get down to the bottom of this. OK, because what I think right now, yeah, this is they might be both bad. Yeah, sure. Overall. I, I, I feel like she like this guy, this Trident guy should probably not be working for Jagex anymore. Like, I'll tell you one thing. If this guy was working for Blizzard, he wouldn't be. He'd be gone. If this guy was working for Riot, he'd be gone. If this guy was working for any other reputable company, he would be absolutely fucking gone. Over maybe tens, fifties, or even yes. hundreds, or even thousands of people. I've gotten messaged by a lot of my viewers, a lot of other communities' viewers, people all around, telling me, oh, to use this, oh, to use that, oh, to can you show this, oh, to can you talk to the JMod? I've gotten people PMing me all the time about this corruption, right? About Stella banned me after winning me a death match, or... Uh, Stella banned me, and she told me that she would get me banned, and I was banned the next day. People scammed, probably, in her CC. See, like, I mean, I, I, I probably, I, I believe that. I believe that based off of the previous messages of her speaking for the actions. Is I, I definitely believe that. This is probably the first thing he said that I do believe. Because it's the first thing that I see evidence for. <laughs> Let's be honest. It is just, it's so bad for this, for this, for the company to have this guy on. It is so bad. But with one message to try to instantly ban, boom. Tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands of people getting banned just by Stella PMing uh, Trident immediately. You know what? Give me a second. Let me just grab all these names. Rag for GP. Interesting. People pay you? That's RWT. Let's go. Who, who else? This guy? Nice account, buddy. I Dude, this is so bad. This is actually so fucking bad. And it has nothing to do with Audiblock at all. Like, he's not even part of this. This is, this is so fucking bad. I hope you don't RWT. This is awful. It'd be a shame. Let me Just specify as well. I have my own deathmatching CC, as you guys know. That's why we're in this situation. Mm -hmm. But you guys got to realize, these people that got banned, have they really broke a rule? Think about it real quick. Just think about it. RuneScape never regulates deathmatching. It's literally a PvP fight, sort of called. What the fuck are you talking about? This is the stupidest argument I've ever heard. You gotta realize, these people that got banned, have they really broke a rule? Think about it real quick. Just yes, they have. But they're not getting banned for, the R for, for fucking deathmatching. They're getting banned for RMT. This is, what the fuck are you talking about? Think about it. RuneScape never regulates deathmatching. It's literally a PvP fight, sort of called. Well, I thought they literally did, because didn't, uh, what's his name? Didn't he just provide evidence of Trident putting up rules for deathmatching? Well, no, this is... Uh, not official. Okay, so I'm sorry, Discord rules... I see. 
So these are rules for just the Discord, but not for... Okay, understood. Got it. Who, who else? This guy? Nice account, buddy. I hope you don't RWT. It'd be a shame. Let me specify as well. I have my own deathmatching CC, as you guys know. That's why we're in this situation. But you guys got to realize, these people that got banned, have they really broke a rule? Think about it. Real quick, just think about it. RuneScape never regulates... I think this is a stretch. That she got them banned. Like, I think that there is a very... And by the way, this does not minimize at all the way that I feel about her and this mod's relationship. However, I think that it is extremely possible that she gave the mod, this Trident guy or somebody else, the names of these people, and they look them up, and it turns out that they were actually cheating. I, I think that's definitely possible. I am not completely convinced that they were banned with no evidence. Deathmatching. Yes, it's literally possible. a PvP fight, sort of called. Yes, it's like gambling or staking, where you right. guys just sit there and hit each other and you guys agree upon the rules. But how are they getting banned when it's not regulated? So let's say I'm a scammer and I'm good lucking you one bill versus one. Well, no, she clearly implied with what she said in, in that clip that she was going to have their accounts looked at and I hope you don't RWT, which implies that RWT is what they would get banned for not for doing the death match. Like a reasonable person would assume that is the case. One bill we're wearing DH, and I'm like, you know what? Screw this. Chris, I'm jabbing. And then you tab, and you go to your house, and you just scam that guy one bill. Obviously, you did him dirty. You guys are created, uh, agreed upon that amount, and you teleported. You're a scammer, right? Theoretically speaking. But RuneScape doesn't regulate these rules. They don't even, let's be honest, they probably don't even want deathmatching. They never regulated it. So how is Mod Trident going to go out of his way? Out of his way? Because Stella shot him a PM and said, hey, this guy just scammed a one-bill deathmatch and then permanently banned that guy immediately. This doesn't make any sense. Scam well, of course it does. Because they're dating and he's doing it because it's her. It makes perfect sense. I've always said, 99% um, of the time, the simplest answer is the right answer. I think this is part of that 99%. I think a death match is not against RuneScape's term of service. It's just against the CC itself's rules. So you're supposed to be banned from the CC. How is Trinet banning random people for scamming in a death match when RuneScape is not even regulated? Because she flagged their accounts and he checked them and they were they were engaging in RMT or other things that were bannable and he found something to ban them for. That is the most generous thing that I can say, which is again, by the way, it is extremely unethical, but fundamentally, they probably did break the rules. Like, how do I know this? Because I play WoW, people buy gold in WoW. I play New World, people buy gold in New World. I play Lost Ark. <laughs> what do you think the odds are it's not happening in RuneScape? G2G enjoyers. It. But this means too. that Mod Trident has created Absolutely. his own rule and enforced a ban upon a player run game of chance. Mod Trident would also ban any competitors to Stella CC. So let's say you're a deathmatching CC and a lot of people know you and you're trusted. Mod Trident would completely destroy their CC. There's been proof of it and he only wants Stella CC to be open. Thus why even banning me? When Trident sent those PMs out, Stella was actively real world trading and not getting banned. She was running her new CC on her main account that she was real world trading on. Trident kept banning the EDM CCs that were made. He banned all CCs, just leaving Stella CC open for people to join from there. For her to get a big advantage in the DMing scenery. The reason why that I'm getting right, perm banned on her main account that she- I was thinking about actually looking at this post again. There are two- this is obviously a, a text message that comes from a phone, right? It obviously is a text message that comes from a phone. And if I go and I look at messages from Twitter, this is the exact same. I think that logically it does not make sense. 
I don't think that he has Trident's phone number. I don't think so. So this is probably not text messaging. It is probably on Twitter. Because I was thinking in my mind, maybe I'm wrong. Because the messages that he showed before were at a different... It showed a picture next to the message. But then I realized, I was looking at my phone just now... And actually, yes, that's exactly how Twitter DMs look on, on my phone. It's Twitter. It was below trading on. Trident kept banning the EDM CCs that were made. He banned all CCs, just leaving Stella CC open for people to join from there. For her to get a big... Stella has Jmod in the most trusted channel, Mod Trident, in her Discord. We have beliefs that she's been snitching on players and MMs she doesn't like. No shot, I got banned because of this rat. Advantage and the DMing scenery. The reason why that I'm getting perm banned and all this things that are happening and this whole operation is being blown out of proportion is because obviously I have such a big community and everybody trusts me and they had to do something. They had to find something on me or make something up in order for me to get perm banned and try to tear down the CC. This much is again, like this part to me is fucking stupid. This guy has already admitted that he's made a video series about cheating and breaking the terms of service in the game. He admitted that he received an IP ban that was categorical across all of his accounts. And he also admitted that the bans that were done on his account were done fairly. All of these things are things that he said in the video. What the fuck am I on about? Wait, are you guys fucking stupid? Are you fucking stupid? You don't know the context? What is the what, what is this magical context that I somehow don't understand? Why isn't she on the on on the I don't give a fuck about her. I've already stated that I think it's I I said the guy should lose his fucking job over it. Isn't it obvious that I'm not on his side? I'm not on her side. He didn't make a series uh, about cheating from what I understand. I think he cheated on the account that he used for the series. It's different. You assume his YouTube series was about cheating, but it wasn't. Okay. Um, did he acknowledge that he cheated in any of his YouTube videos? The account that he admitted to cheated on to this day hasn't been banned. He admitted to cheating in this video. This is the problem of taking care of itself? Yeah. He cheated on the account that he used the series on, but that account didn't get banned. He paid someone to level his account while he was not streaming. He didn't tell anybody about it until now. So nobody knew about it until now. Let me finish this. Let me let me go a little bit farther, because I, I think that he's going to explain a bit more about this. Just possible. See, in this video, it's showcasing of Stella RWT. Now, let me specify. I never gave a crap if anybody rules or trades or has their own hustle or makes bread on the side or do whatever. But when you come at my neck and you permanently ban me for something I didn't do on all of my accounts, not even give me a warning. I wouldn't even take a warning because I didn't do anything right. But when you come at my neck and you try to permanently ban me and ruin my CC and try to turn me down for no reason, then I'm sorry. I'm going to have to retaliate and make you look like a fool. So this is her real world trading. You can, you can literally see her Discord ID. That's why the guy was clicking on it. Uh, he pastes it and it's obviously her and he shows every information that you need in order to prove that it's her. I've been making okay. RuneScape content on YouTube for five years. You know, the YouTube community probably doesn't even know this much. But RuneScape has always treated me like doggy. Let's just be honest here. I don't know if you guys know that, but whoever came to my stream, I've spoke about it there. They don't even follow me on Twitter and they follow 50 viewer RuneScape streamers. And I'm literally one of their biggest or the biggest RuneScape. 
escape streamer. And till this day, they don't follow me. And that's fine. I'm not hurt by that. It's just I really feel like they're targeting me. And when you come at my neck and you guys are permanently banning me for something I... It's 418. Fuck, it doesn't say... Yeah, okay. I was seeing if if any of the context of her being in a relationship with this guy like her selling gold predated this guy. If she was selling gold while she was with him, she was. January 15th. This is January 5th. And when you come at my neck and you guys are permanently banning me for something I didn't do, I'm going to have to retaliate and show this all this evidence and information that is provided by the community to, sh to get it through you guys' heads that like, yo, this is not right. Now, after what you guys watching the video, you guys probably know. Let me that just see real quick. Let me just read through some of these. Don't want to get scammed. Don't tell anyone we do business. Just refer to me as Bob. It's our account. Remember, I win. So they're they're uh, match fixing. Is that what they're doing? They're match fixing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm convinced she sells gold. Absolutely. So what you guys watching the video, you yep. guys probably know Absolutely. that yes, she did end up getting banned. And like I said, boys, I don't care. Whoever oh, wait. has his heads that like, yo, this is not right. Now, after what you guys watching the video, you guys probably know that yes, she did end up getting banned. And like I said, boys, I don't care. Whoever RWTs or breaks rules has nothing to do with me. Make your money. I don't care. But that's not the point here. The point okay, is so she did that there's banned. a lot of corruption going on. I'm going to get to the bottom of it because you guys came at my neck first. So let's say you join my CC and you don't join Stella's. And if Stella could somehow talk to you, PM you, or Discord DM you, she'll go ahead and PM you and threaten you with anti-cheat system. Anyone joining the other CC will be investigated by anti-cheat. I would highly recommend not joining the other CC. Yeah, bro, they've got to get rid of that guy. This makes them look so bad. Like, this is, like, crazy. How does he even let her do that? Oh, my God. Like, it, it's not even... The thing is, like... It's always crazy to me whenever somebody doesn't even try to... They don't even try to hide corruption. Whipped? And it's probably not even that. It's probably that, like, they're together and he makes... Like, so... Yes, obviously... There is probably a bit of that going on. However, again, I think that he's probably getting some of the money from it. That's what I bet. What that means is she's going to try to get you banned in some way, somehow. And, you know, try to screw you over through Trident, of course. I believe Trident is trying to weaponize what I said in recent events in order to mask his corruption. A lot of people thought this was Jugex taking actions about what I said. It's not. This is about the deathmatching CC. You know what he did? He achieved the goal of confusing everyone. I know I joke around a lot of things on stream. I joke around literally with everything, even with my own religion, um, which I do take very seriously. I'm a human. You know, I make mistakes. I just want everybody to live their life the way they just want to live it. Uh, I say some shit, but at the end of the day, I'm a loving guy. You know, boys, all I do is want to entertain. I crack jokes 24-7, even about me and, you know, say Wallet, say Walter White. You know, like we all joke around, even the way I say, you know, some Arabic or whatever. In Islam, we joke around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Who gives so forgive fuck? me if I offended you with any jokes that I've made, boys. Oh, you bro, know. like forgive, but bro, if you get offended by a joke, suck a dick. 
me. I'm always cracking jokes. Who cares? I like to be a fun guy, boys. I never like to be boring. I'm not with that normie tribe, if that makes sense. I like to crack jokes and have a good time, even if it's a little bit on edge. Now, boys, I don't, I don't even need to say you guys are going to stand with me because you guys already are. I know how you guys are. My community's strong, like steel. You understand? I hear a lot of content creators when they, when they talk about me. They say, uh, oh, yeah, Autoblock's community is toxic. Autoblock is this, Autoblock is that. But they always say one part of positive thing. You know what that is? They always say, I wish my community had my back like his. Because my community, when, they know. They know when somebody screws with us, it's over. That's it. I'm hoping that we all stand together with our barrels gloves attached and we stand above this corruption. This is terrible. I'm not selling hate towards you guys, gagak, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm really just, I feel like there's uh, some corruption between the ranks or with the rank and, and you guys could email them about the corruption. So don't be cringy, don't be weird. You know, just get straight to the point. If you guys have been rucked by Trident's corruption, go ahead and send it there and uh, I'm gonna do the same. So if you guys got it down, go ahead and do that. Don't be hateful, don't be cringy. Just get to the point, boys. We're yeah. about our business, you know? It's manipulation. We don't want to well, of course it is. Like, bro, he lost his account. Of course he's going to do that. Yeah, I, I do the same thing. It's corruption BS. Okay. Hello! Oh, you... God. Not not now. Not no now. hate to Jagger. Give me a minute. Next video? How long is the second video? This is one one day later. Is this the video right here? Oh god. This video is ass. There's but if if All right, all right. Th this will be the last one. This will be the last one. First off, I want to thank everybody for the moral support and everybody that's been supporting the videos and understanding what's happening. But I want to specify one thing. Okay. We shouldn't be harassing anybody or being toxic or disrespectful towards anybody. I want you guys to be respectful, get straight to the point, and obviously we want change. And the only way that's going to happen is if we respect everybody and, uh, you know, we apply that pressure, but in a respectful way. Okay. Now, a lot of people in the last video were saying the evidence wasn't strong enough. This picture shown here was supposed to be in the... No, no, I, I think that the evidence... There, I think his evidence that he provided of Stella being a uh, being corrupt and, uh, and Trident misusing his position, I think that he provided more than enough evidence. However, I do not think that he provided any evidence that I find to be sufficient to tell me that he did not he did not cheat himself. I, I think that the, what probably happened is that he cheated and she cheated. First video, but I forgot to put it in. So this showcases that she knew that I was going to get banned the day before. Regardless, if you want to make the I have to delete because he mentions TOS things. There's no insurance on loans or ranks. He'll be banned tomorrow by Trident, and any time he gets a new account, go fuck him, I guess? Okay, so basically what this does imply, however, what this implies is that Autoblock got banned categorically. Like, his account got banned categorically because it was owned by him. So, like, for example, this happened for a number of different people. I'll give you some examples. Uh, number one, it happened for Path of Math uh, in uh, Path of Exile. I think that's probably the most recent example. Uh, let's see. Besides that, it happened to Jarvis before that. And then before that, it happened to Tyler1. So, and it wasn't about which account that he was on would get him banned. It was about any, they don't want him playing the game. Now, I think that this entirely calls this into question because like, how is it that this guy gets perma banned? This guy gets perma banned, but at the same time, he's getting perma banned by somebody who is clearly against him. It's an example of like a stopped clock is right. 
is right twice a day. That could be this case. It's bias. Yes, it could be bias, but it could be technically accurate bias. I meant that she wasn't talking about me. She shouldn't know when somebody's going to be banned or not the day before. Exactly. That just can't happen as a normal player. The anti-special team has to be investigating, you know, talking amongst themselves, and then they do it. I don't know how a normal player like... Well, how do you... I mean, it's because they're dating, and he told her. That's why. Come on. Stella is getting information beforehand on my band. It just doesn't make any sense. This screenshot also shows that Stella is in a position of power. She could threaten and scare normal players by just showing True. the display of power here. Just by using Trident's name and knowing this information beforehand, True. it's not normal. He's After completely the last right. two videos I made, I actually got sent a lot of evidence and a lot of things that were brought to light to support my argument. This also has been translated from Swedish to English. So some translations may not be perfect. This screenshot was sent by a viewer regarding his ban by Mod Trident. I've blurred the name of the moderator just to protect his identity. Actually, I've said this to Jegex, and it's now under investigation as well. This conversation also took place around two months ago. And that the was whenever they were in a relationship. Moderator himself asked for a list of account names that were banned by Mod Trider. The moderator was also specifying to the viewer, or his friend, that if the accounts were banned by RWT, he would be extremely disappointed. And he hopes that he wasn't lying. That if the I'll fix it right away. Thank you very much for even listening to me. If you're seriously banned for OT yourself, they're very disappointed. Okay. Accounts were banned by RWT would be extremely disappointed. And he hopes that he wasn't lying about corruption. The viewer asks, is there any proof of the rules that he has broken? The moderator also answers that these, these things take time and he's going to have to wait. The moderator then asks, why also answers that... If you prove that I haven't broken any rules, you can get your account banned. Well, then how's that actually worked? Right now, you can only wait. You're a real king. Really rare. Someone from Jagex even cares about a random player, but all respect for you. No problem. Forgot to send a picture. Okay. These, these things take time. Where's and the he's picture? Gonna have to wait. The moderator then asked, why would these accounts be banned? The viewer then gave an explanation on why these players have been banned in the past. He also mentioned how often Mod Trident is mentioned in the CC. In response to the allegations that the viewer gives, the moderator then highlights the severity of this situation. Then the mod then explains that these things can't be solved very fast. The viewer then continues... Which makes sense. I think that's very fair. That, like, I mean, this is a massively serious allegation. And just, like, bringing this to a co-worker or something is like, what the fuck, right? This is probably above his pay grade anyway. Used ...to give proof that there's been false bans in the past. The viewer then voices his concern on who is handling the case. The mod no, then No, I mean, like, I, I want to make one thing very clear, okay? This is my current position on this. I think Trident is absolutely corrupt, and I think he is corrupt at worst, and he is uh, massively irresponsible to the point to where it damages the company's reputation in a tremendous way at best. I think Stella should be banned. Apparently she was. This seems massively problematic. He should no longer be at the company. I think this is past the point of no return a uh, long time ago. I am not convinced that this guy did not deserve to be banned. I am not convinced about this. But in terms of them being corrupt, I think it is indisputable. If the evidence that has been provided is real, it is indisputable that this guy should not be at the company anymore. If this was at a major company, this would be on Kotaku. This would be everywhere. The fact that Jack, like if this was an EA, bro, imagine if this happened at Blizzard. Everybody, like dude, Ludwig would have made a video about it. Charlie would have had a video about it. I would have reacted to the Ludwig video about it. Yong would have had a video about it. Mudahar would have had a video about it. Everybody would have had a fucking video about it. So, yes, the, the XQC and XQC would have watched it. And then Hassan would have e eaten lunch and he would have watched it while he was eating lunch. And then S-Fan, you would have asked him about it. He's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. And, and then Mizkif would make a fucking joke about it. Everybody would be like, yeah, true. You know, they're really corrupt, aren't they? Oh, it's Blizzard. 
you know, Coffeezilla, if this kept happening, might get involved. I mean, it's it, it, this would be a massive big fucking deal. So, like, I, I don't think people are, are appreciating the severity of having an employee that is compromised to the point to where his significant other not only knows what's what's going to happen ahead of time, but also is able to influence that in a big way. And and she is it, it clearly said that she she stated it in in plain English. And not only has she stated it, but actions and outcomes have reinforced this to be the case. The viewer is it just tried it himself or is it the whole team? The viewer also specifies that this has been going on for way too long without anything being resolved in terms of corruption and false bans. The moderator then replies and says if the bans were false, they will be reversed. Somebody says if Otto is the first ever recorded account servicing account. Uh, wait, so people are saying that nobody so nobody has ever been banned for account servicing before? Not permabanned. Okay. Okay. I think this makes his position stronger. However, as a content creator, I do think you should be held to a higher standard. I am split on this. A month then passed with no resolution. After the viewer brought this up again to the mod, he then specifies that it's not his job anymore. I have nothing to do with my job to investigate things. Yeah, because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to deal with it. Like it's above his. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with it. I. I. He shouldn't be banned. If he is the only person that has ever been banned. For. For account servicing, permaband. We're talking about permaband. And it was in relation to this extremely unethical, highly corrupt relationship. While I do think that he did cheat, I don't think he should be permaband. Because it is disproportionate, and by permabanning him, you are reinforcing a corrupt action. However, it seems like the guy cheated on other accounts. He should be banned on those accounts. And I do think that he cheated. Uh, if I had to, if you if you asked me to take a bet do you think do i think that he has done anything to break the terms of service on his main account i think the answer to that is yes i think it's not true that he said that he didn't do anything bad on it because he mentioned multiple accounts that he broke the rules on as well i i do think that he is lying or he is bending the truth or he could have maybe, uh, you know, bought the gold on one account, then traded it to his main account. So, oh, I didn't buy it on this account. Yeah, sure. So I, I'm, I, I, I do not believe this. However, fundamentally, this is not the main point of his video. The main point of his video is that Jagex is corrupt. And I think with his main point, he is right. I think he is absolutely right. He doesn't want to be involved in this, basically. The viewer then asks the mod if he's aware of Mod Trident and Stella. Asks the mod. To each other, you don't have to whine about it anymore. If something happens, something happens. I can't do anything. I have nothing to do with their privacy. Don't watch auto. Not my type of content. Exactly. I think this is just this person doesn't want to have anything to do with it. I, I, I actually I don't think that they are complicit in this. I think they just don't want to have their job affected by some bullshit drama. But if he's aware of Mod Trident and Stella. In response, the mod basically says, stop whining about it and he can't do anything for you.
The viewer then specifies how much of a big deal this could be regarding the bands. The yeah. mod then repeats and says, I have nothing to do with this and this is not my problem. Also, I just want to specify that, remember, this conversation started two months ago. As of yesterday and last night, there still has been no help and no further, how do I say this, steps into solving this problem. This has been a well-known problem for over two months. There's people all around that voiced their concerns directly. It would be three the months because the messages that were originally sus were at the beginning of January. Keep that in mind. Work alongside Trident. They've all been brushed off, told that there's nothing that can be done. So it seems when Trident bans somebody, it's final. And then there's going to be no help from other staff members afterwards. So this is the picture. If Trident bans you, only he can reverse it. Nobody else. These issues have literally been ignored for much longer. I think that there's a very good possibility that Trident is actually banning accounts that were engaging in TOS breaking activity or are engaging in patterns of behavior that are categorized as TOS breaking activity by Jagex. However, he is doing so in a malicious way that is encouraged by corruption. Was encouraged by corruption. That's what I think it is. So, like, for example, what I'm saying, sorry, uh, is that, like, I think that there is a very possible, like, outcome is that he actually is banning people that are breaking the rules, but he is choosing who to ban based off of who his girlfriend is telling him to ban. Like, he's basically, he's looking... Uh, it's like if a cop searches your car or they pull you over for like a uh, uh, like a taillight that's out and, and then they arrest you for it. That That's, I think, it's effectively what's happening. It's like, yes, they're technically breaking the rules. However, th they're being applied in a way that is unjust. I'll be right back. Okay. A cop busts one dealer but overlooks the other one slipping him a few bucks to his and his homies. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's a lot of examples that you can use with this. Um, I, I, I find it to be incredibly unethical no matter whichever example you use. And the screenshots even show. It's just crazy to me that you can bring an obvious issue to Jagex and then there's nothing that can be done about it. But now, somebody with a platform... Well, you're not really bringing it to Jagex. It's just one random employee that probably doesn't want to risk his job. Uh, you know, Trident could have a position that's superior to his, or sorry, um, uh, you know, senior to his, and he just doesn't want to be involved with this. This is not his fight. He's trying to make a living. He's trying to live his life. You can't expect somebody to go out and be a martyr. ...and a loud voice can finally show the corruption within the anti-cheat team. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. Imagine how much more corruption is behind the scenes. What we don't see, what we do see. It seems that Trident only has a say on bans. And once he says something, it's final. We've already seen a lot of corruption through Trident. The evidence provided on the last couple of videos and the evidence provided in this video. Now, what we don't know is how many more things is he doing behind the scenes? What evidence... Is I think that it's fair to assume... If there's a bunch of evidence for somebody being corrupt publicly, what do you think the odds are that there's even more evidence of somebody being corrupt privately? I'd say it's about 100%. Absolutely. Being covered. What more is he doing for Stella? Is there more corruption that we can't see? Is there things that are being Absolutely. deleted that we don't know about? You Absolutely. see what I'm saying? This Without next a clip is a response Without by a Stella. Doubt. That's replying to a viewer that said Autoblock CC is immune to ban. Absolutely. But they're not immune. What's going to happen is Jagex is going to go through the list, start banning everybody. And then people are going to start realizing, like, holy shit, rule breakers cannot actually run a CC. Do you think those people that are ranked right now in their CC not rule breaking? Do you think they're not RWTing? They haven't just been brought to attention. So if they start DCing, do you think they're going to still want to, like, run the CC? No, no one's going to want to be affiliated with that. She tells everyone exactly what's literally going to happen the next day. Jagex is going to go through the list, start banning everybody. And that rule breakers, referring to me, can't run a clan chat. And then people are going to start realizing, like, holy shit, rule breakers cannot actually run a CC. How the hell can she have this information a day before my ban? Guys, I don't give a fuck about how she talks. I don't give a fuck. I don't, it doesn't matter. Uh, like, I, I, who gives a fuck about how they talk? Um... How does she have this information ahead of time? She didn't. She was implying that she said, she told her, she was telling people that's what was going to happen. However, 
why did she think that was going to happen? But then Jagex comes and tells me they can't yeah, give exactly. information about an ongoing investigation. So unless another Jagex mod is telling Stella inside information, it must be tried. Now, is there another member of the anti-cheat team giving Stella this information? I think... Um... I don't think that there is a... I don't think there's enough evidence to really say one way or another. Because, like, so, number one, the odds are that a lot of other people on the team kind of know what's going on. Like, what do you think the odds are that he just has literally no... The other people have literally no idea what's happening, right? Uh, I think it's low, but it's possible. And it's also that they might not want to be involved. They have no idea. And so, like, they don't want to deal with it, which is, like, kind of fair, kind of not. It's unethical, but, uh, you know, it's whatever, right? I, I also think that there's a very good chance that they also could be in on it too. And and also, they're not in a relationship with this girl, whereas he is. So it could make sense that it's only him because he's the only person fucking her. Hence, he's the only person who gives a shit about who she wants to have banned. It's much more likely that the person she has a romantic relationship with is giving her that information. Ma tried it. You know what's crazy? She mentions that we're obviously rule-breaking. Stella, you rule break every single day and it's overlooked by that doggy of yours. Yeah, I said it. Her account literally on stream has, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 800 total level, 99 strength, attack, defense, and HP. Literally built for death matching. You know what? Let's get serious here. How about this? I'll donate $5,000 to any charity if Jagex goes on Stella's account and see if all the IPs match to everything that she's ever done on that account. Five thousand dollars. That's a bad idea because uh, you can actually use IP services to match the IP of the account that you're playing. So that's actually a very bad, uh, a, a very bad metric to use. It's at home VPN. Yeah, but she, I mean, she didn't do that, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest. She seems pretty stupid. She does. She seems pretty stupid. I don't think she did it. USD to any charity that Jagex wants. What's the difference between my account that got banned and hers? Because I guarantee you that she did not train even one strength level by herself. It's literally made for deathmatching. She only plays this game solely for RWT. I want this investigation to start now, not three weeks from now when she's already sold all the gold or the gold has magically disappeared. I want this investigation to start now. Matter. So Jagex, I'm calling you guys out on that. Go ahead and search her account and go see how- They absolutely should, by the way. They 100% should because it is such, this is such a massive, like again, dude, if this happened at EA or Blizzard, everybody would be talking about it. This is like re like on a scale of like corruption. This is at basically the highest level. Somebody is in a relationship with an employee and the employee is banning people at the request of the person that they're in a relationship with. This is super fucking bad. Like this is like honestly if I was them, I would probably pursue legal action against Trident uh, against Trident. I'm not even kidding. Just for the only for, like, even if you didn't care, but just to show that this is not fucking acceptable. This is really, really fucking bad. It's conflict of interest. It's it's fucking. It's more. It's way more than that. account services she's done because i guarantee you she's not even bro ask her how to do a grimy raynar ask her how to make a strength potion ask her fuck it ask her what is nmz i want you guys to grab my account and compare it to stella's account first of all she got half and half of my total level she literally has one range nine slayer and 99 combat stats all she needs for death matching her account literally looks like it's been made in venezuela now what bothers me is is that i've been <laughs> streaming on twitch for about six years every single day consistently Probably the most consistent RuneScape streamer you'll see. I don't even have a day off. And then I've been doing what? RuneScape content on YouTube for about five years now. Consistently. Okay. All types of unique content. 
new content every day. There's even been waves and eras that people love in my streaming and my YouTube videos. What bothers me is, is that Seems Stella true. has only been promoting death matching and staking. So what I don't understand is I'm getting punished for something that I've done two years ago and so-called they have evidence of me account servicing when I've never paid anybody to do anything on Omar and I've never ever paid anybody even in the game to do anything on Omar. Until they sold me that transaction, I'll be happy, which they will never find. Stella, which her account has literally been serviced on, one range, nine slayer. She probably doesn't even know how to do cook's assistant, bro. It's just, I'm sorry, I'm passionate, you know? And it just bothers me that all these things are being overlooked on her account. And I would just like Gegex to check her account and do all the things that they've so-called done to me, which made me get a perm ban. Make sure you do it now, not three weeks from now before she sells all the gold. Thank They'll you. They'll have all the transaction history. It shouldn't matter. Remember, these are routine checkups, they claim. So what is routine about bringing up an offense that I did about two years ago and claiming that I did account services? I'm trying to tell them, show me any transaction of me paying for any service and you can ban Omar. They can't. It's not possible. That account has never well, been served. Well, no, it's, it's beyond that because he got IP banned. Like she said, and the thing is, like she was right about every other thing that happened. So logically, you would assume that she knows that he's he's not IP banned. Okay, all right, never mind. He can make a new account if you. Oh, okay, all right, fuck. I thought he was. Now I want you guys to put it in perspective. Compare it to the Risa RWT and servicing that's been done in Stella's account. Why has nothing has been done to her? She literally RWTs every day. Her crypto address is there every single day updating. $353, $476. Uh that's a very, very, very good point. If somebody pulls that crypto address in the leaked DMs and that crypto address is constantly getting money, Get coffee Zilla in here. Yep. She literally real trades small amounts every single day and nothing is done. It's $300. And overlooks That's it. You know lot. why? Because of her dragon plate skirt and her dragon plate body, unfortunately. Also, what are these screenshots here? I went ahead and I blurred out your information for your privacy and we could cross check this BTC address and we could easily see that you've been real world trading and this is your Bitcoin address. Funny thing is, you still accept payments to this day on that same address. The last thing you sold was a few days ago, which was about exactly 1 billion GP of gold. Stella is still managing to sell GP in increments every single day or every few days and getting money sent to that Bitcoin address. Obviously, it's getting overlooked by Trident. Now, boys, I got a piece of information that's going to drive you guys absolutely insane. I saved the best it. information yeah. for last. Now, boys, I want to put this in perspective. Right. Imagine being a CC owner in a deathmatching clan. Now, let's be honest, it's tough to, you know, to keep track with the scammers, the people that you guys want to get banned, kick them out of the CC. RuneScape communities already have all plugins made. Everybody uses plugins to this day. And as you can see, we even developed one ourselves. And of course, Stella was looking for somebody to do this for her as well. Why would an anti-cheating specialist at JGX be spending time developing a CC watch plugin without announcing it anywhere? I could only assume it was... was made for the Stella deathmatching CC in order to help kick users. Has to be. You know what? I'll help him out because I like supporting. Am I uh, where am I misunderstanding something of information that's going to drive you guys absolutely insane? I've saved the best information for last. Now, boys, I want to put this in perspective. Imagine being a CC owner in a deathmatching clan. Now, let's be honest. It's tough to, you know, to keep track with the scammers, the people that you guys want to get. Tried it, made the plug and kicked them out of the CC. RuneScape communities. How can we tell that Trident made it? We already have all plugins made. Everybody uses plugins to this day. And as you can see, we even developed one ourselves. And of course, Stella was looking for somebody to do this for her as well. Why would an anti-cheating specialist at JGX be spending time developing a CC Watch plugin without announcing it anywhere. I could only assume it was made for the Stella deathmatching CC in order to help kick users. Has to be. You know what? I'll help him out because I like supporting the community and the boys. Everybody in the chat, go ahead and install it yourself and whoever would like to try it out. 
the MCC watch plugin. You know what? Maybe even develop your own kick bus if they're allowing it. I mean, why else would you install this plugin? So this is how it works. You can put anybody's name down and you can see them enter or leave your CC whenever. You can get notifications of people you have in the list joining your CC so you can kick them. What the list is, you write somebody's name down, kick them immediately, or you can get notifications if they're going in or out of your CC. You know what? Even better. You can automatically put in your own server to have a bot or a server kick them out for you automatically. It's a shame you didn't tell the community about this trident. <laughs> What are you doing, buddy? Tried it. I honestly don't know why you would keep a beautiful, awesome, amazing plugin secret when we could all use this too. You know what, guys? Feel free to use it. You can set it up, you guys, yourselves. The fact of the matter is, boys, is that Trident's only contribution to this scene is to a community heavy with real-world traders and scammers. The funny thing is, it's been made about like two months ago. I don't know what else I could say, you know? Appreciate all the boys supporting me. Love you guys, man. But at the end of the day, this is some BS. You know what's crazy? For six years, I produced content on this game. Consistently bringing new players into the game. I was even hosting my own tournaments. The only time my name was ever allowed is when my supporters would literally force it down with Golden Gnomes. We won two Golden Gnomes with RuneScape. Best streamer of the year twice. And then I have staff blocking me on Twitter. And I've never even tweeted at them once. I don't know why, but some certain... Welcome to the club. Staff members have some hatreds towards me. They can't even bear or see or even hear my name on their Twitter pages. I'm not sure why, honestly. Not to sound egotistical or anything, but I'm the most viewed OSRS content creator across every platform. And this is the thanks that I give for the viewership I bring to the game? You know, I'm the most popular PvP player and I have continuously keep PvP entertaining with such lack of updates. Bro, I even got so bad that I had to move over to PvMing to try to revive the group Hardcore Iron Man game mode. Hundreds and thousands of people made accounts and paid for Bond because of watching me play it. Over 1 million YouTube views on that alone. But yeah, I'm the problem with the community. Nice. When you he profit so community. much from me by playing the game, you think that you would have a least bit of appreciation. I appreciate some of the Gigic staff and I have love for them. You know, they've shown some support, some love throughout the year, certain individuals. And I'm sorry if I made this week hell for you. All jokes aside, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I just feel like I've been wronged. But you know what? I won't sit back and be a punching bag when I know there's things wrong. You know, I don't even feel like this is a tough decision, so I'm not going to lie and say that it is. I've sent all the information to Jagex to investigate the situation, and I have sent more evidence I couldn't include in the video. Until I hear back from Jagex, I will not be playing the game. I'm sorry if this gets people pissed off, but I'm not going to be playing the game until then. So boys, take care. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, again, I think that he is... I, I think that it is indisputable that this guy is completely compromised. He is massively uh, corrupt. And not only should he be fired, but I, I think that the company should pursue legal action against him in order to preserve their public image. This person single-handedly... 300,000 views in one day. This person is single-handedly destroying the integrity of the entire game. If you want to talk about damages, this could be in the millions of dollars. And I'm not kidding. This is massively bad. This is like, again... If this had happened to a big gaming company, this would be mainstream news. And I think the only reason why it's not is, number one, this guy does an absolutely fucking horrible job defending himself. Like, especially the first half of this video was the biggest amount of dog shit I've ever seen in my life. It was so fucking bad, I thought that he was completely lying about everything. It turns out that he wasn't. I'm not convinced that he didn't cheat on his main account. I think that he cheated on other accounts. It's not unreasonable to assume that he did not cheat on his main one as well. However, why is he getting permabanned for doing the exact same thing that the girl didn't get permabanned for? It doesn't make sense. Runescape subreddit deletes anything that has to do with Stella, Mod Trident, or Autoblock. Um, 
there could be other i i think that that's probably a, a like like that's a, it's a reddit mod moment like because it, it's, yeah yeah like I, I see what they're saying but like yeah yeah they said due to names yeah yeah but like at the same time like it's like they have the the bullying policy and i i just i i don't know yeah we do the same anyways yeah we have to do that sometimes too so like i i understand like i i just i don't know like i i think that's like you know that's like a thing where it's like you know one point doesn't do anything but multiple points make a line like th that's a point but i don't have enough to go off of with reddit like how much is there a relationship with them i i, I can't decide yet uh, he's not doing the exact same thing. She's RMTing thousands of dollars daily. He had someone do quests or trained his account two years ago. No. What I'm saying is that I think that it is undeniable that his account was singled out because it is his account. And I think that it was singled out because it was his account because of the fact that he interacted negatively with this girl. I think that, like, not even a fucking question. Mod Jet is worse? I don't know who that is. I have no idea. Um, yeah, because money was involved. Yeah, of course. He cheated on one account, so he shouldn't. Uh, he should be banned forever. Uh, wow, everyone else is in wrong, too. She should be gone perma as well. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, like, if they don't, if they don't perma ban people for this kind of stuff... Now, I mean, obviously, this guy seems to be, like, a, a, a consistent rule breaker. And so, like... I feel like whether this guy is is perma banned or not is like really not the point. It, it it it's really not the point. I think that like yeah, it's the girdle and this guy that are the problem. My judge, I guess so corrupt he was able to buy a luxury car out of it. Not even a joke. Look it up. Who gives a fuck? Like yeah, I mean hopefully they got rid of him. It's whatever. Uh, but yeah, it comes from Slack. He's a RuneScape mod. I don't know, man. Kind of similar to the time with Tile 1 situation. No, apparently not. He was not IP banned. This guy should get perma banned, uh, too, but it's the main community for the game. The game would be dead without him. Why should he be perma banned? Because he, he, he did the same thing that everybody else did? Okay, then perma ban everybody. He's a piece of shit. How's he a piece of shit? He doesn't seem like a piece of shit to me. How's he a piece of shit? Can we be dead without him? Well, no, I'm just saying, like, there's there's no... Uh, where he presents himself, well, he looks so good. It looks good to a figure. Well, then how's he, how's he a piece... I, I didn't ask. I didn't say he wasn't. Like, I'm saying, like, yeah, like, where is it? He's just controversial? Yeah, what did he do? He said something transphobic? Oh, my God. Like, did, did, and then try to get him banned on Twitch. Like, I don't know what he said. Yeah, I have no idea. Because I bet he said it probably on Twitch, right? Did he say it on Twitch? No, he's on, he's on kick. <laughs> Smart guy. Okay, there we go. It wasn't bad. I have no idea. He said it's against his religion to support trans. That's it. Well, I mean, that's probably true. He's Muslim. That's what people are saying in chat. There it is. I mean, so if that's a problem, then just ban all the Muslims. If not, I don't want to hear about it's bad. Call them Transformers, though? I mean, yeah, like... Here's the thing. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've been very outspoken about how... I don't care what people do with their time. I don't want to see somebody lose their video game account over a stupid joke. I think this is ridiculous and disproportionate. He didn't even do it in the game. This is, it's ridiculous. What the fuck? Yeah, like holy fuck. If it, this is the, so he so he made a, a joke, a bad joke. This is why he's a bad person. This is why he's a piece of shit. I, I I'm sorry, but like you're gonna have to give me more evidence than that. You want more Stella evidence? I don't need it. I've already made up my mind. Unless you have evidence of the contrary, uh, then I, I think that I've already, I, I'm already convinced that, uh, that that she's completely corrupt. It's not even a question.
Ugh. Fortunately, nothing's allowed to be funny anymore. There's a lot of people who are just bigots who try to mask their bigotry in jokes, too. Uh, I, I think, like, you know, uh, there are a lot of jokes that are not really jokes. I, I, I mean, I think it, this, this goes both ways. So I, I don't, I, I don't want to get into that. All I'm saying is that I don't think you can say somebody's a complete piece of shit person because of, like, one joke. Like, I, I'd need to see more stuff than that. She hasn't streamed or been present, so I just went down. Yeah, anyway, let me link you guys this video. It, it does seem like this guy really did get a raw deal, though. Like, uh, I think he presented himself in incredibly badly in the first video. I think the second video is, is much better. Um, also, uh, yeah, I, I, by the way, I, I totally support him. Like, I totally support him. Uh, like, I, I, absolutely. Uh, even with, like, the, the permaban and, and everything like that, uh, like, maybe he should be perma maybe not. I think that's a, that's a separate decision. But it should not be a decision that was made by anybody near Trident. And I think Trident should not only be removed from the company, but I think the company should seek legal action against him as a public method and measure to show that they are taking action against obvious corruption and uh, massive breaches of integrity. Like, not only fired, but, like, literally, like, fucking lawsuit-level legal action against them. So, yeah. You only heard one side of the story? I mean, you're right. And if she has a video to come out, or he takes a video, or he makes a statement about it, I'll look at their statement. Sure. I'll look at it. Everybody deserves their, uh, you know, their ability to defend themselves. Sure. They deleted all of it. Yeah, I wonder why. Uh, the amount of gold she sold as well, probably 20k, so they can do a lawsuit against that kind of stuff. Yeah, they probably can. Uh, what, what legal action, what law did he break? Um, it sounds more like civil law. Uh, it sounds more like civil law than anything. Well, yes, you would... I don't think you should go to jail. He's not a, a danger to society. Yeah. I'm talking about civil law. Sue for damages. Absolutely. I, I think that if you pull up his bank account, if you pull up his fucking crypto addresses... You know. 